What's good, my fellow Natiba Slayers? Once again, we're back with all the nano suits from the Zion 807 and the Wasteland. If you like this video, please smash that like button and sub to the channel so that you don't miss out on much more. But we're going to start things off with the Planet Diving Suit, the seventh version two. All right, so in 807, there's three suits that you can get. The first one is going to be right when you pop off the monorail. So as soon as you call it over, it's going to take a couple seconds for it to actually pull up. But once you get there, you're going to immediately exit the monorail and walk straight towards it. It should be one of the first suits that you pick up in the game. And it actually looks really clean. Like, yeah, for the men of culture. Moving on, we have the Wasteland Adventure. You're gonna be able to get the Wasteland Adventure in 807, the plaza area after you have drained it. It's gonna be flooded and you're not gonna be able to explore this area at all. After you get the first hypercell and you receive a quest that gets a passcode, with that passcode, you're then gonna come back to this area right here. You're going to go into a console. It's gonna turn on a machine that drains out all the water. Once the water has been drained out, there's actually a crazy storyline that goes along with this. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty interesting. I hope you enjoy it. You're gonna wanna come all the way down on this left side over here, travel down this shortcut, and it's gonna be right in the back. Next one is gonna be the Red Passion. The Red Passion is gonna be the last nano suit that you're able to get inside of 807. You're gonna get this from the construction area. As soon as you go over to the crane, you're gonna to wanna to knock out the wall on the right side. So I'm gonna show you which wall we're talking about right here. It's gonna be the wall right over there. There should be like a m memorial or something over there, but you're gonna knock that out no problem using the crane and then you're gonna go across the beam and you're good to go. Now it's kind of finicky, so make sure that when you knock the wall out, you reposition the beam so that you're actually able to get to it. Because if it's too high, she won't be able to jump to it. And we don't have double jump at this point, so yeah, it might be a little bit difficult. And there you go. That's gonna be a chest for the Red Passion. Moving on to the next one. We have the Daily Biker. Now the Daily Biker, the Daily Denim, as well as the, the Junk Mechanic and the Black Full Dress, all of these nano suits are gonna be locked behind a certain quest. You're gonna to wanna to finish the stolen treasures quest that's over here, right in the beginning of the area. So as soon as you enter in Zion and you turn in your first hyperdrive, a lot of the NPCs are gonna hit the streets again. Once Lyle hits the streets again, you're gonna come into his shop, you're gonna to talk to him, and he's gonna tell you about the stolen treasures quest. From there, you're gonna pick up the quest from him. You're eventually going to find his daughter, bring her back, and then he's gonna open shop. When he opens up shop, you can buy all of these nano suits right here from him. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate these like rotisserie chicken so you can go ahead and check them out and then we'll move on to the next. Now let's go over to Roxanne. Roxanne has a whole lot of suits for you. She actually has five suits originally and then once you beat the Abyss Lavoir main story quest and you come back to her, she's gonna have the final prototype planet diving suit 
that looks clean af so i'm gonna go ahead and rotate these for you guys so you can go ahead and check it out and then at the end i'm going to show you and feature the prototype suit i went ahead and i grabbed the materials and i crafted it for you If you like what we do here in the channel, I really appreciate it if you consider smashing that like button and subbing so that you don't miss out on so much more coming for Stellar Blade. Now all jokes aside, a lot of these suits are clean. I think some of my favorite suits in the game are the cybernetic bondage suit, the prototype suit, the new one, the planet diving suit, the third that you're going to get from Abyss Lavoir. That thing is pretty clean too. and. I want to say some of Roxanne's suits are pretty clean. Um, I really do enjoy the relaxed vibe that you get from the sporty yellow that we're going to pick up a little bit later in this guide. So stick around for that. One of the hardest suits for me to get was actually the suit in the wasteland. Next up is going to be the fluffy bear. In order for you to get the fluffy bear, you're going to want to follow me from the gate of Zion all the way to the back. You're going to be able to get this one from a guy that's standing inside of a shop. He's going to be surrounded by teddies. Now, the way this works is you're going to see him for the first couple of hours of the game and he's not even going to talk to you. After you turn in a couple of hypercells and you go back and talk to him, he's finally going to tell you the story of his sister. And unfortunately, he put her memory stick inside of a teddy bear. That teddy bear is over in Matrix 11. So if you haven't already watched my first video where I teach you how to get all the different nano suits in the Matrix 11 area, as well as the Great Desert, then look at this video right here. We'll move on to the next suit. We're talking about the Sky Ace. This is a clean suit and you're gonna get this from Kaya. She has a pretty interesting storyline that's gonna turn out to be pretty sad at the end, but go ahead, enjoy it and you're gonna get this suit when you finish it up. The next suit is going to be locked behind a bunch of bulletin board quests. So what you're gonna to have to do here is over time, as you start to unlock different bulletin board quests, you're gonna see a quest called Where's the Item and another quest called Precious Treasures. Knock these two quests out and at the end of the Precious Treasures quest, you're gonna get the Blue Monsoon. The Stargazer and the Planet Diving 6 outfits are both DLC. I think I picked these both up as soon as I came in Zion for the first time. Now we have it, the Prototype Planet Diving Suit. This thing is the cleanest suit in the game. I literally just picked it up. I knocked out the Abyss Lavoir quest, and right after doing that, I went out into the world and see if I collected everything that I needed just before going into New Game Plus. And when I went back to talk to Roxanne, she had this suit in her inventory. Make sure you go back and you talk to her after you beat the Abyss Lavoir quest. All right, so we're going to move on to two more suits. One suit is going to be for your girl Lily, and the other one is going to be for yourself. We're talking about the rainy day suit for Lily and the racer's high suit for yourself. Now, in the beginning of the game, you're not going to have double jump, so you might not be able to hop across this gap right here where the drones are. However, I'm going to show you both routes just in case you've already been over in this area and somehow you missed this suit. This is going to be exactly where it is. After you fight those two boars, it should be right down here. Now the original way you're going to get over into this area is going to be the solar tower entrance. From here, you're going to run from this supply camp, you're going to knock out all the enemies in this zone, and then you're going to run straight ahead. Once you run straight ahead, there's going to be a cave over to your left. This is also a fishing cave, so you can come in here and you can catch a whole bunch of different types of fish for your fishing log. You're going to need 25 in order to get the ocean mage nano suit. But this is all about Lily. You're going to hop in this water right here. Make sure you switch to your swimsuit. 
dive down to the bottom and her suit is going to be in this box right here. Now, once you get out of here, if this is your first time being here and you just picked up that suit for the first time, you're going to want to run over here to the left and make sure you pick up the Racer High Nano Suit. It should be right down here. All right, let's move right along. So we're going to go get some drip for Adam. It's going to be the Adam Junkman suit. You're going to need to run straight ahead over to this corner of the mountain. There's going to be a place to climb up. You're going to follow through and do this entire jump puzzle. Once you make it to the other side, it's going to seem like you can't make it. You can as long as you have double jump. But once you make it to the other side, you're going to get a couple of items while you're up here. First things first, you're going to get yourself a core. Right after getting yourself a core, you're going to also get a can. And after getting that can, last but not least, there's going to be Adam's suit. So make sure you pick everything up that's in this area so that you don't miss out because you would hate to have to come all the way back over here. But the area in question is this right here. You're going to have these enemies right here. So you're going to swipe the floor with them once they're all wiped out. The can is right behind me over near that tree. You're going to climb up this little jump puzzle right here real quick. Climb up the ledge. And then right on the other side of this bridge is going to be where Adam's suit is. And we're almost done. I'm super curious, what is your favorite suit in the game before New Game Plus? Mine, it's a tie between the Black Wave, the Cybernetic Bondage Suit, and the Prototype. I mean, the Planet Diving Suit, the third, is kind of clean though but I think I like the prototype a lot better. Once you wiped all these guys out, his suit is gonna be right in here and we're gonna move on to the next. The sporty yellow. Now the sporty yellow suit is locked behind a brute. When you drop down into this pit right here, there's going to be a monster of a Natiba waiting at the bottom. As soon as you beat him down, you can go through these doors back here. Your sporty yellow suit is going to be right here in this box. And this thing looks kind of clean though. Moving right along, we have the holiday bunny suit. Now, bruh, I don't even need to say much. This suit is just wild. From the digger supply camp, you're going to run left. Go straight down this area right here. There's going to be a door that you're going to open up. And right when you walk through this area, you're going to bump into another boss. This is going to be the Corruptor boss, but he's super easy. You're going to tap him up real quick. As soon as you beat him down, run up the hill to the back and go get this clean suit right here. It's right up here on the cliff. Now you can actually see the last suit in this area right behind it, this one, the Cybernetic Magician. So the Cybernetic Magician suit is going to require you to do a little bit of a puzzle and a little bit of a shooting game. It's pretty easy though. It's on the opposite side over there. So you're gonna run up this path over here to the left past the digger sign right there. That's gonna be your landmark. Beat this guy down real quick. Once you take him out, you're going to want to run straight up the rest of this hill. Pass by the telephone booth right here. Go straight down and there's going to be a couple of enemies. 
if you have the if you have some stingers or any type of ranged weapons on you go ahead and shoot out these guys right here as well as shoot the barrels to where the drones on the top are at if you shoot the barrels they'll instantly blow up and take out the drones for you makes it a lot easier Once you do that, you're going to have to do this puzzle here, moving all the different cards on top of the platforms, climb up to the top of this, come over here to the left. As soon as you touch this box, it's going to be a bunch of targets that pop up. Only hit the black targets and you will unlock this nano suit. And last but not least, the last and final suit on the list is this one right here. Now, this suit is locked behind a quest. I'm going to leave a full-blown guide to this because it's actually insane. It's one of the craziest quests in the game and it's very vague when you first start it up. But what you're going to need to do is when you come here, you're going to see this locked crate. The only way to open up this cargo crate is to have the passcode. You're going to need the passcode of six different shrines in the game. Once you get all six of those shrines, you're going to get the passcode. You'll be able to come back here, place in the code, and you'll be good to go. If you like what we do in the channel, make sure you smash that like button and sub to the channel so that you don't miss out on any more tips, tricks, guides, and a whole lot more for Stellar Blade. This is your boy, Emma M6 HD, and this is every single nano suit that you can possibly get before New Game Plus. If you haven't already seen my first video that has all the nano suits for the Great Desert Area as well as the Matrix 11, then go ahead and click on this link right here.